Well, this is uh, the first course of actuarial mathematics, which I am planning to complete um, uh, all the lessons of actuarial mathematics. And I, th I hope uh, this will help all the students which are uh, wanted to, to learn uh, more about the actuarial mathematics. Well, uh, in actuarial mathematics, we work with life tables. Life tables are, these are the tables. So, uh, this is an example of a life table. In this table, we have the age, which is represented by, the, by X. And uh, in this case, we have one, two, three, and four ages, for example. And this, and, L, uh, uh, and the, um, the L letter corresponding to an age means living at age X. For example, if I say, how many persons are living at age zero? We have uh, a million persons are living at age zero. And um, th the same thing will happen with uh, age one, age two, or age three. Uh, D, uh, Dx means number of persons dying persons who die at age X. Um, if, if we have uh, a million persons at the beginning and in at age X we, we see that um, 1,580 persons die, that means that we're going to have in next year only 998, 420 persons uh, still alive. From this number of persons will die 680, and then we will have uh, only uh, surviving from the initial group, 997, 740. From this number of persons, if, if at age two will die 485 persons, will remain living 997, 2,055 uh, persons still living at age three. In other words, this gives us an idea that this number is called the radix. It's called the radix or initial population. In other words, if we have number of people living at age zero, that means we, we start with this number of persons. But this number of persons that we're going to start always will be the same in the, in the course of, of the calculations that we're going to be making in this table. In other words, at age one, we have 998, uh, 420 persons still living from this initial population which is called radix. In other words, uh, we cannot have increments from other sources or decrements uh, from other sources. Only will be this group and we will have a statistics about what is going to happen in, in, in the following years, um, starting with this million, million persons. But, uh, this same thing we can explain in an equation. If we have number of people dying, is this? No, negro, no, cierto. Perfect. This is the number of persons who will be dying at any age. For example, at age X. And this is equal to number of people living at age X less number of people living at age plus one. That means 
this is H, any H, and next year, we, we, this same person will have H plus one years. Um, this is the main equation um, uh, for, for these computations. For example, we have 1,580 persons dying, but we have here a million persons at the beginning of EOX and at year X plus one we have 998 persons 420. The difference is the number of people dying. But with this same equation we can make the same computations all over the table. But we have another thing to consider too. If this same equation is divided by Lx, if we make computations, uh, if we make computations, uh, we say that this is the probability of dying which is represented by letter Q. Q means probability of dying at age X, which is equal to one, because mm -hmm. LX divided in, the, in, in LX is, is one, and we have the probability of living one more year. So, in other words, Q means probability of dying. and P is the probability of living. From this equation, we also can arrive to another conclusion, which will be number one. One means 100%. 100%, in other words, Px plus Qx will always be one. In other words, a person has only two chances of living, or uh, uh, two chances, or uh, that person can live or can that person can die. So living, the probability of living plus dying is always one. In other words, uh, it, it cannot be more than one or less than one. It's always 100%, in other words, one. Okay, thank you very much. Uh,